Hey everybody, this is Ryan Share here with PC DJ Dex3. Uh, this is a brief demonstration of the brand new browser. Uh, a much updated browser will come with the Dex3 version, uh, which will be a free upgrade for existing Dex2 users. Uh, we spent the better part of the last few months working on this browser, um, among a lot of the core components being upgraded in Dex3. Um, so I just wanted to give a brief demonstration. This is more of a teaser. Uh, we are very much still working on this. This is a beta version. Uh, really at this point just adding some polish, a little lipstick and rouge to kind of finalize um, you know, some of the things we want to do with this. But uh, let's jump right in it real quick here. On the left side in your navigation pane, um, you now have flick gestures which will let you quickly run through your lists up and down by just grabbing and kind of throwing the list up and down. Um, the entire library and the database code has been designed in a way that it's going to uh, be portable to uh, any operating system, tablets. Um, it also, uh, as you can see, uh, with the new uh, kind of grid layout here, um, the track listing areas are even wider, uh, making it much easier to grab with your finger. Um, so this will lend itself very nicely to a touch screen. Uh, a lot of the newer high-end laptops and stuff uh, are coming with touch screens uh, so people will be able to better utilize that with the new library. So one cool thing unlike before is um, you can nest folders from your hard drive uh, as favorites uh, essentially creating groups from your folders on your drive. In previous versions of the library uh, you would have to create a playlist or add the files to a database in order for it to be searchable. Well, if you navigate to a folder once, right here, I'll just go down to my documents folder. Click tunes. At this point, it's already reading tag information. As you can see, before when you navigated your hard drive folders directly, uh, it was dynamic. It only displayed uh, file names. Now it actually displays uh, tags. Um, so, and the other cool thing is if you navigate to the folder once and open it, it's now cached. It's, it's added to the search cache. Uh, so without even having to add anything, if you've navigated to the folder once on your drive, it's already added to the search cache. So say I want to uh, find a folder that I want to make uh, into a group or nest as a favorite. I can right click on it, add to favorites, now, as you can see, we got my breaks pack under here under favorites. So now it's a group under favorites near the, near the top of the browser interface. I'm, I'm going to guess that most of our customers are going to use the favorites. So now it's nested as a favorite and it maintains the subdirectory structure. I had a subfolder under that folder on the drive and it's showing the contents there. As you can see, you know, even though these are being built for the first time once clicked on, um, they're really quick. They load quick. Um, to explain a little bit, you have three sections now as well. Uh, you have the, the browser navigation pane here. You have whatever folder you've opened or directory on the left-hand navigation pane will display in the middle window. And then over here on the far right, you have your new automix list slash side list. So if uh, what's really cool is you know you open your folder, oh and you can sort. I hope I have this set up to where you can see the sort button. This is your new sort. Although uh, take note that a lot of the interface stuff is going to change as far as the skin is concerned. We're working on a brand new skin that should be finalized later this week. Uh, but if you click sort, you can sort by any of the supported tag items. We're actually uh, going to be adding a few more here shortly, um, and it also shows. Um, file, um, sorry, album art, as you can see. Not all my files have album art, but the ones that do will display. If I click on, I think I have a few in here. As you can see, you got your album art, you got your song title. Uh, you can also color code these. And I can click one of these buttons and it'll save the color. Uh, we're going to be putting in an option to actually sort by color uh, so you can add your own kind of favorites. Um, just like that, really simple. Now if I wanted to, and this is one of the cool things, uh, a much, much requested item by our users uh, in regards to the new side list and auto mix list, if I was to double click a track, 
you'll see it just popped up over here. So I can delete songs out of here just by highlighting them and hitting delete. But if I wanted to add another song, let's see. I can also, of course, search for the song. Search is improved as well. It's much faster. I can double click a track, sends it over here to the list. And now, if I want to just uh, play this song, I can play manually off the side list, of course, uh, or engage autoplay. And I'll have to probably turn down the volume here. But as you can see, it'll load the top track, load the second track, and the songs will disappear as they are loaded into the players, as it um, auto-mixes through your, your list. Now, you can still create user-created playlists, of course. Um, create your own user list. You can right-click, new, new playlist, drag files into it to populate. And if you get to your gig and you want to make uh, one of your lists or send it to the side list, it's as easy as clicking on your list, right-clicking, send to side list, auto-mix list. Actually, that'll just send the selected song if I right-click and say send all, although this menu, hold on, let me get on here so you can see the menu. If I right-click and say send all to side list, auto-mix list, It'll send the entire group to the auto mix list. So throughout the night, this is really where you're going to be working uh, from. So let me. Uh, I think that's it for today. I, obviously, I'm going to release a much more in-depth uh, tutorial video for the library once Dex3 has launched. Uh, we are anticipating that's only a couple weeks away now, actually. So uh, I'm going to be real busy real soon here. Uh, hope that helps. I know it was definitely more of a teaser. Like I said, I promise a much more in-depth uh, video soon. Thanks.